SPL. No. Sound quality. SQ. SPL. And SQL. What do those abbreviations mean? And what is what are they? SQ, sound quality. Also referred to as audio file. These are the guys that want a real balanced sound. And the key to a real balanced sound is not being able to decipher or differentiate where the bass is actually coming from. If you're in a truly SQ vehicle, the bass will envelop you. The whole the music experience itself will envelop you. A SQ system would also have a center channel, like a home theater system. So you will have doors, left and right, four doors, uh, yeah, four door vehicles, you have speakers in each door. Uh, and you also have a center channel, it'll be a speaker somewhere in the middle, right there on the dash, to make the sound blend in so that you can differentiate, I'm saying it wrong, I cannot pronounce that word, y'all gonna laugh, <laughs> where the where the music is actually coming from. You should be able to, you should not be able to pinpoint nothing. It should seem like the sound is all around you. That's a sound quality bill. And you should not know the bass is coming from the trunk. In fact, you should be able to look to the to the doors and think that the bass is coming from the dash from the doors. If the sound blends in, they use a lot of stuff. One thing they use to that's some sound quality bills is the RTA meter, real time analysis. So that whether the speakers are playing in the doors, everything is delayed and signaled so that the so that the signal, the sound reaches your ear at a certain time. Every frequency. So there's in the sound quality system, there is one spot in the vehicle where you are totally immersed in the sound. And that's where they put the mic in, and that's where they do the judging. So that all the frequencies will hit this one spot that you tell the judges where it's at. And it's just it's just a, a it's a very clean sounding system. Everything blends in perfectly. The mids, the highs, the bass, the how it hits your ears, the time alignment. That's a SQ system, okay? <sighs> then you have the SPL system. The SPL system, they don't care nothing about all that at all. All they care about the SPL system is one thing. Sound pressure level. Sound pressure level. These most of these bills are not musical at all. They could care less about the highs and mids and highs. Don't care nothing about that. They want one thing. How much pressure can they make in that cabin? And the SPL systems are predominantly known by their seal score. How much pressure can they make in the cabin? Their seal score is more oppressive in that crowd than Letting the windows down, outlaw, in the kick. They don't care nothing about all that, really, truly. I mean, they do all that, too, because they know it'll get louder. But how loud are you with all the windows up? And I know some of you are wondering, who cares? Who gets? Who spends all this money on a sound system just to ride around with the windows up? That's the SPL crowd. That's what they're geared toward. If you said that, then you're not in the SPL crowd. You're not designing your system just to hit one note. It's spectacularly loud. You are in the SQL, SQL crowd. Sound, sound quality and metering. SQL, they commonly call it. Street bangers is what I call it. You want a loud system. You want people to hear you before they see you. You want your highs bland. And when they can hear you before they hear your words, you definitely ain't got no sound quality system. And if you... Way down the street, you definitely ain't got really no SPL system for they can serve. You got an SQL system. You just want it to be musical. You don't care nothing about the meter. If it meters well, so be it. But that's not what you was going for. What you was going for is to get that big butt girl attention three blocks up the road. She got to turn her head talking about who coming with the boom, 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 boom. That's what you're looking for. You want if you want people to red light the brother to let the windows up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You love to stop at the red lights. So you can turn your system up and see other people's windshield meters. Uh, I mean, uh, vibration and they, and their rear view mirrors going to vibrate. Uh, people or the or women looking at you and, and turning their head. You you kind of like that. You kind of like that. You in the SQL crowd. Crowd. So your your base we know where it's coming from. It's coming from the back of your vehicle. You in the SQL crowd. Crowd. Uh, most 
SQ, they use certain components. Audison, Focal, Hybrid Audio Technologies, J Audio is known for sound quality. They use the high end. A lot of high end stuff. SPL guys, uh, they use the brute force. Uh, Def Bounce, Sundown Audio, Scar, Kicker Solo X. They just use the brunt force sound pressure. Who can move the most air is the loudest. The SQL crowd, SQL crowd, you using a little bit of both. You might have a J Audio high, but you got a, a Sundown or a Kicker a sub in the back. Okay. I'm an SQL, so I know I'm an SQL. I'm not really an SPL guy. If it meets, so be it. I mean, good. If it meets as well, that's good. I want the sound nice. I want you to hit my high and my mids. I want you to hit the words. And I want you to hit the bass. I really don't care if it meters very, very well. I would have meters, like recently I posted up and let people know, okay, I'm doing a 141 at 35 hertz. Hmm, good. I really didn't care if it did. A 138, a 136. <laughs> I don't care. It sounded good to me. That's all that matter. And people hear me before they see me. And most systems, I'm going to tell you something. Most of the street banger systems, if you get a 140, you plenty loud. If you got a 140 coming out, I don't care what you got. 15, 12, 10. If you hit 140, you plenty loud. That is a feat in itself. That is plenty loud. That makes houses rumble. Windshields vibrate. You pull up at the gas station, they window, woo, 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 woo. they know you out there. If the gas pump is 20, 30 feet away, they hear you out there if you got a 140. 138 too. 139 as well. So I'm in that crowd. Metering ain't really, I'll do it, put it up there, see what it do. Oh, that's great. But as long as it sounds good, that's all I care about. And that's the SQL crowd. Most people, on the SQL crowd. The SQL crowd predominantly keep the cardio shops, the installers, in business. Because they spend the balance budget. The SPL guys, they spend tens of thousands of dollars. They don't care. So do the SQ guys. The SQ guys spend $10,000 too. A six and a half set might cost, a six and a half component set might cost $1,200 in their system. But the SQL crowd, they get a little bit of both. And they ain't more balance. And that's what keeps in the cardio shop. I tell you, that would keep the lights on. <laughs> Those are the guys that get two twelves a hand from speakers, boom. And I get a more of them than I get the guy that comes in. Like they get more of those guys than they get the guys that come in willing to spend between five to ten thousand dollars on a system. You feel what I'm saying? The SQL guys, you give me five thousand dollars, I can build a bunch of systems. <laughs> It'd be happy for me. The SPL guys are not five. Spend five thousand, you're not gonna get a whole lot of SPL. So this is the SQ guys, five thousand dollars. Hell, three of my component sets cost five thousand dollars. I haven't even got to the amps. Yeah, SQ guys, uh, five thousand dollars, man. I can get, a, I can get a real nice system. People hear me before they see me. You feel me? And that's the difference between them three guys right there. In, in layman's terms, most of you are SQL guys. You think you are SPL guy, but the SPL guys will tell you, bro. 140, like what I did, 141, that shit ain't loud. <laughs> Pretty loud to me. Shit vibrating on dad. When they, to the SPL guys, man, that shit ain't loud at all. You know what I'm saying? Uh, to the SQ guys, eh, it sounds terrible. There's no balance to your mids and highs. It's just, you can tell where your bass is. It's in the back of your truck. Look at your window. I mean, it's just, oh. It's okay. You're loud, hold if that's what you want. But you can't hear, you can't hear, uh, uh, Gloria Estevan clear her throat, or you don't. You're not getting the nuances of Phil Collins when he brushes his hair and holds the mic. Uh, you did. All right, then. Peace, brothers.